Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm David. We got a really big project this week. Uh, we're going to be working on a B-17. Yeah, a very large B-17. Um, what are we looking at? So we're going to be going for about 12 foot wingspan on this one. You and uh, Michael are going to get started on the actual plane, right? Yeah, so Michael and I are going to start on the foam. You're going to go ahead and split off and start designing our 3D printed accessories. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, what are we doing? The nose and tail and probably yeah. some of the guns and yeah. turrets? So it'll be real nice. We basically can have a simple build foam board airplane, uh, but then all the accents, all the scale details that make the B-17 look incredible, you're going to handle that for yeah. us. All right. We got a lot to build and to do. We'll get started. All right, so, so far what you see right here is about 12 sheets of foam. Our good friend John Overstreet was really awesome. He designed this really quick. No symbol mapping on this one because this is the first time it's been built as a prototype. Mike and I are gonna start on the fuselage here and any time that you start with a master series, you usually start from the tail first. We're gonna follow along with that same logic even though the symbol mapping isn't there. It should build very much like all the other master series we have. So we got formers to stack, we got foam to peel and curl. This thing's gonna take shape really quick. Holy cow, Dave, it's looking good, man. Thank you. Yeah, um, it's big. It's really big. <laughs> and it's, it's still going, too, yeah. by the way. We still have, like, all this has to go onto that. And then the 3D printed parts on front of that. Oh, my golly. Yeah, we've got probably wow. another two foot of stuff to go. Wow. So, basically, this is going to be the area where the wing goes, but also where the bomb bay goes. So, this is going to kind of require some custom engineering, right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have to uh, work out a couple of details. Keep you posted. Love it. All right, so the guys are doing really well on the fuselage here. In the meantime, I gotta go ahead and build the rudder. Now the rudder on the B-17 is absolutely huge and also something kind of unique. This one's gonna be like airfoil shape. So instead of just a big piece of foam sticking up that's kind of flimsy, we have all this right here. So my goals are pretty simple. All we have to do is simply peel and line each piece like a sheet. And this is actually how the metal kind of worked on the B-17s as well. At the end of the day, we're gonna have an airfoiled fin and it's also gonna look great. So the sponsor of today's project is Warpath. Warpath is a free-to-play online strategy game, and with a new Air Force version update, there's over 40 historically accurate aircraft to choose from. Now details for this free online game are in the description below. Make sure you check that out at the end of this video. We're gonna get back to building really quick. We have a 12-foot B-17 bomber that we gotta build, and hopefully by the end of the episode, fly. Holy cow, what do you guys got going on? We are just about wrapped up with the fuselage. <laughs> Mike, stand that up next to you real quick for me. You just don't appreciate. And there's also gonna be another tail section, like a tail gun that we're all pretty cream. So. <laughs> all right, that is huge. Yes. And, and that's the removable nose for the front? Yes. What's the next steps? We have to finish up the nose here. Uh, there's a couple formers that we have to still put in and a couple pieces of wrap. And then I have to uh, get some measurements to 3D print the nose. Love it. And I'm working on the tail. Hopefully by the time that's done, my tail's going to be done. We'll be able to put that together and then uh, tomorrow's the wings. Awesome. Love it. Let's do it. Too. So what are you guys about to do? We are going to uh, glue the nose of the uh, B-17 on. Nice. You guys actually 3D printed this one, right? Yes, this one is 3D printed out of lightweight PLA. It looks like a pretty nice fit. We, we decided to go with uh, 3D printing the nose and tail just to give it a little bit more detail. It's a little easier to work with than the foam board to make such a rounded shape. Um, yeah, we just figured it'd be easier. All right, Dave, what are you working on, buddy? Okay, we are working on, um, what would you call this, the uh, turtle deck? I think it's the turtle Windshield? deck. Windshield? I, I call it the canopy, the turtle deck, the <laughs> greenhouse. Greenhouse, um, that's a good one. Yeah. I, I forget. I used to know the name, but I forget now. Okay, so we're just uh, beveling the edges of it to hopefully set it down on top of the fuselage and get it glued on. Right now we have a really big brown tube, but once you put these items on it... Yeah, it, it makes a huge difference. Just It goes from a tube to a B-17 okay, really quick. Love it. <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna be doing for the B-17 is something called a box bar. Box bars are very common both in general aviation and also model aviation because they're incredibly light and also very strong. Yeah, so we're basically going to take some plywood, uh, lay some poplar on it around the outside edges, and then uh, 
sandwich it with another layer of plywood on this side. Yeah. We did experiment this earlier with just three eight inch poplar on your uh, Corsair Noah, mm -hmm. and we had over 70 pounds of weight on the center section, the weakest part of the whole thing. So this is incredibly strong, it's gonna be light, and we're gonna be able to build it really quickly. Yeah. All right, all right, we'll do it. What's going on? Um, we are trying to uh, get this uh, wing spar bowed in the B17 so it lines up with the leading edge and it'll still be solid in the middle so it won't have a weak point. Come over um, to my side. It's uh, quite a bit of work here. <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it gonna hold? I say so. I say so too. It looks beefy and has, we have two box bars instead of one like we usually do. So. Yeah, I, th I think we should put a couple of ribs in between here to just make sure nothing like curls or anything with the force of the uh, bow in that spar. Yeah, I think also we're gonna fold off these edges. Yes, yeah, we gotta peel the paper up there and try to round the bottom so it's, um, what, half symmetrical wing? I think so. I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah, so let's uh, get that front curled over and skin the top. So it is Sunday, we have one day left here. We gotta make this thing fly tomorrow. Pull out the big guns. Say hi, Peter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hurry up, grab the blue guns. All right, Put the camera down. We got work to do. There you go. That is a slow servo. <laughs> oh, that just sits on 3.7 volts. <laughs> oh yeah, it is 3.7 volts. <laughs> I love okay. it. Great work, Good man, work. thank you. Glue it on. All right, now we gotta get this, and then we gotta put both on that, and then we gotta work in the wing in there. All right, so Dave, what do we have to do? Okay, um, we gotta get these in the cells done. Uh, We've got the fronts of them all made. We just got to figure out how exactly we're mounting them to the wing yeah. and then get the fuselage cut out for the wing to fit. This one we're going to make removable because it's so big, we got to fit it in places. Yeah, we want to be able to travel around with this. We have some also pretty special plans here. may require some transportation. Uh, originally, I was thinking about going with smaller motors, um, but this tail, although it's incredibly light, I think even with four motors in the front, it's still gonna need a little bit of nose weight, potentially. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with monster motors, but instead of using six cell like they're normally made for, we're gonna go down to either five or four cell. And I think that's gonna give us a nice efficient power. Uh, the plane should still be light. I mean, all up weight, I think we're still under 15 pounds for this plane, which is incredible. Yes, and um, I don't know if it's good or not, but we went with the uh, conventional wing that it actually has scale looking. Yes. So it's probably gonna fly pretty fast. Yeah, it has a semi-symmetrical airfoil, so that means basically the front's kinda like a teardrop and then it goes more to a flat bottom as it goes back. And the nice thing with the removable wing though, if it's too fast, we can always build another wing later and uh, take it back up. But we gotta get this flying by the end of the day because <laughs> afterwards we need to paint this, put the scale detail on, and we're gonna be doing this all over again, but this time we're gonna be dropping bombs. All right, ready to do it? Yep, let's do it. Um, we're trying to make this wing detachable, so basically we made this guy. It's going to be one of the formers inside of the fuselage. And I'm cutting out some dowel rod pins right now. We'll go in these holes like so. And the wing spar is basically going to slip right onto these and it'll hold it in place and then the back we're just going to bolt down. So if you ever have to take the wing off, you just undo two bolts and the wing will kind of slide back and pop right off. Perfect. So while the guys are working really hard on this B-17, I want to explain a little bit more about our sponsor Warpath and also the free online game that you guys can participate in. With you guys being as the commander, you can experience authentic terrain, battlefield, and also over 40 different historically accurate aircraft for you to choose from. This is a really good opportunity to have a growing appreciation for just the challenges and the tactics used to overcome their enemies. 
and you have a lot of different options and versatility in the weapons that you choose to put on your aircraft in the game of Warpath. Now based on how you choose your weaponry and how you outfit your troops depends the effectiveness on the battlefield. So this plane is shaping up beautifully. Let's go ahead and get back to them because we're ready to install electronics. So it's buying time for the B-17 and we're going to be using five receivers. Now the reason we're going to be doing this is there's going to be one receiver on each motor and then also a receiver on the tail and the uh, elevator here. Uh, also the power of this, we're going to be using eight 4-cell 2300 tattoo batteries. Now 4-cell doesn't sound like a lot of power because typically the monster motors run off a of 6-cell, but we don't need all that power. This plane is so light. These doubled up are gonna give us more capacity. We're gonna be saving an overall weight of about 2.8 pounds, and that's exactly what we need to keep this plane nice and light. We don't want a rocket ship. This thing needs to go nice and slow and lumber along, but if we do need more power, we can always step up to this later. So I'm gonna go ahead and bind everything up, plug it together. We're gonna to be talking about all five receivers at once. It's gonna give us redundancy and save us a lot of weight at the same time. There it goes. Perfect. We're there. Awesome. <laughs> Now this B-17 is so big, we can't get this out the door. We gotta disassemble it, take it out to ready board runway, then reassemble it, and then it's finally gonna be ready for its first flight. All right guys, so the B-17 is just about ready to fly, but before we go out and fly, make sure you go down in the description below because Warpath has given us a free gift to give to you, and we wanna make sure you get that. We got a plane to fly. I'm ready. All right, right, left, up, down. I'm just stalling here, I'm really nervous. You guys all ready? <laughs> you got this, Josh. All right, here we go. Wow, that thing's got some power. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow. Oh my gosh! It's Not so a click of trim! It flies like a giant. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! That, if, if anything ever embodied the scale version of what it was supposed to be, this is it. Oh, that is perfect, Josh. Oh my goodness. Not a click of trim. Wow. Oh my goodness. We got big plans. This thing has to go into the battlefield tomorrow, which means we're gonna fly this. We're gonna feel it out, make sure everything's good. And then tomorrow, it may go into battle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the presence this thing has. Well, we have to make it look pretty first. Yes, we do. Wow. So I don't know how much battery capacity I have here. I'm flying four cells, uh, 4,600 milliamps, and she's feeling pretty good. She wants to tuck a little bit to the right, but that's, that's hands off, guys. 50 bucks worth of foam, by the way. We counted up $48 of foam is all it took to build this monster, and probably another $400 of electronics, and that's it. Okay. Um, oh, we should probably get Greg out of the runway. Oh, let's get Greg out of the runway. Wanna grab here. Greg? Yep. Low risk. Let's do a loop. A loop. <laughs> so half throttle okay, flying loop, around. Loop All right. is low risk. <laughs> Are you guys ready for a loop? Yep. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great oh my, job, buddy. It does everything. <laughs> All right, we'll do a wing over, guys. You ready for a wing over? Yeah. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> All right, I lost. It didn't like that. I actually lost my motor on that. I got no yaw control, so I think I'm gonna bring her in. <laughs> Screw it right around oh, the trees beautiful. here. Dave, I'm sorry, I hogged all the fun. No, no, no. I had plenty of fun watching this. That was insane. It was absolutely insane. Now this is the mastermind behind this wing. This is the first time we've ever done a semi-symmetrical wing and you did that. Yeah, yeah, and it worked out great. It's perfect. Incidents, nothing was wrong, not a click of trim on this airplane. So we, we did have a weird thing though. When I went up to do the, uh, the wing over, I had no yaw control. And up until then, I had crazy yaw control with my differential thrust. So there's something we gotta figure out and that's why we chose to land it. So Dave, great work, man. Yeah, great work to you too. Good awesome. piloting. Thanks. Now we're not done with this. We're gonna be taking this out tomorrow. We got paint, we got bombs, we got a lot of carnage and a lot of surprises for you guys so make sure you hit that subscribe bell because tomorrow this thing is either going to be epic or no longer yeah, i have a feeling that it's going to be able to carry quite a bit of payload i think so i think so i take a, quite a few rounds if you know what i mean yeah. all right <laughs> we got work to do we'll see you next time take care